Hi, kindergarten. Thank you for joining me today for our religion lesson. Um, our lesson theme is Jesus gave his life for us. Um, and today we're going to be talking and learning about Palm Passion Sunday. Um, if you notice in the back here, I've got um, Jesus on a donkey and we're going to find out why. We'll start with prayer, so if you'll please pray with me in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Jesus, we welcome you into our hearts and lives. Help us to keep our hearts open to you. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Have you ever been excited to see someone famous? You knew you were going to see them and you just couldn't wait. Have you ever been to Disney World or met Mickey Mouse or maybe a princess? Did you wait a long time to meet them, to get their autograph or picture taken? How did you feel when you were waiting? How did you feel when you finally got to see them? Today we're gonna to talk about a time when some people in the Bible we're so excited to see someone famous. And he was amazing. Do you know who he was? Yes, it was Jesus. Jesus was coming to Jerusalem to celebrate a special holiday called Passover. He was going to have a celebration with his friends, the disciples, and everyone in the city was getting ready for their own celebrations for the holiday. As Jesus and his friends got closer to Jerusalem, Jesus sent out two of his disciples ahead into the city. He told them, run into the city, and when you get there, you will see a donkey tied to a post. Untie the donkey and bring it to me. So the two disciples ran ahead into the city and they followed Jesus' instructions. Just like Jesus had said, as soon as they got into Jerusalem, they saw a donkey tied to a post. The two disciples brought the donkey to Jesus. They took off their coats and they spread them on the donkey's back like a blanket for him to sit on. Then Jesus began riding into the city. Many people saw him coming. The people had heard about Jesus and all of his amazing miracles and how he taught all about God's love. They were so excited to see this famous, amazing man coming into their city. They ran to see him. People gathered branches from palm trees and they waved them up and down to Jesus, just like they would have done if a king was coming through the city. They spread some of the branches on the road in front of him. Many people took their coats off and they spread them on the road too, as if they were making a royal carpet for the donkey to walk on. Soon, more and more people had gathered around They asked, Who is this man? The people answered excitedly, This is Jesus, and he is the prophet prophet of the Lord. As Jesus rode into Jerusalem, the disciples and the people waved their palm branches and they began praising God with loud voices for all of the mighty things that they had seen Jesus do. The people called out, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. The people were so excited to see Jesus. They knew that he, had a, that he was a special man and that they treated him like a king as he rode into the city. They worshiped him and celebrated all of the amazing things he had done. This week to help you celebrate Jesus and Palm Sunday, I'm gonna invite you to make your own palm. Um, the next video will show you some instructions on how to do this. See you in a little bit. All right, we're gonna uh, make this palm today. Um, this is one that I made last year, um, but unfortunately, we're just gonna have to work with some of the different tools that we have. So your palm leaf may not look exactly like mine, and that's okay. 
Um, I have printed off the template here for the palm. First thing I'm going to do is color. And make palm green. You're going to color your green. All right, when you're finished, you're gonna cut your palm out. And we're gonna use paint still. Okay, um, now this is, um, these lines here need to be cut for our weaving. So the easiest way to do this is just to fold your palm in half like that. And you're just gonna kind of cut slices here on your palm. And then open it back up so that way you've got your um, slits through there, okay? Um, I used one, two, three, four, about five strips of paper. So your first one here, you're gonna start, go under, over, under, over, like that. You're gonna scoot it up to the top. The next one. So like this one we started over this one, we're gonna go underneath. And go over. Under. Over. Under. Okay, once you have your palm weaved, you're just gonna pick up these little flaps. And add just a little dot of glue. Uh-oh. Okay, that's together. And then you have your palm. All right, this is a crucifix that I have in my house. I still have my palm from last year um, on my crucifixion, but um, because we will not be going to church um, and celebrating our palms um, in mass, I invite you to take your palm craft and you can honor Jesus and celebrate him and worship him by putting your palm on your crucifix, just like that. I hope you have fun um, making your own palm. Thank you for joining me for our um, religion lesson and learning about Palm Sunday. Um, we'll go ahead and end our lesson um, in a closing prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Dear Jesus, thank you for all the amazing things that you have done. You are an amazing God, and just like the people in Jerusalem did, we worship you, Jesus. We love you. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Bye, kindergarten. Have a great day.